In this video, we're gonna give you a technique for IV push medications. Now, the most important thing to know is that you have to administer them over the prescribed time or you could do harm to the patient. So this way we're gonna show you is just one possible way to make sure you're getting the right timing. But to start, we need to do a little bit of math. So the first thing you need to do is calculate the total dosage required and draw that up in a syringe. In this case, we'll say it's two milliliters. Then figure out how many minutes it has to go over. So let's say we find out it's two minutes. So now you can find out how many milliliters in one minute. So that would be one mil per minute, right? Now, last calculation, divide that by four to find out how many milliliters per 15 seconds. So now what we're left with is this partial dose of 0.25 milliliters or a quarter of a mil over 15 seconds. So write that down, we're gonna use it in a second. So this method is a super safe way to do this. All it requires is that you have compatible IV fluids like normal saline infusing. So here's what you're gonna do. Go to your pump and program a secondary infusion. Now you don't have to have a secondary bag, we're just using the pump to our advantage. You're gonna set that secondary infusion to run at 150 milliliters per hour for 15 mils. That'll be a six minute infusion, enough to flush your meds in and flush behind it. So now you're going to take an alcohol pad and clean the port closest to the patient and attach your IV push medication syringe there at that port. With that secondary infusion running, you're going to push the partial dose you calculated and count to 15 seconds. So push 0.25 milliliters, count to 15 seconds. Push 0.25 milliliters and count to 15 seconds. And you're gonna keep doing that until you've given the whole dose. In this case, you can use a watch with a second hand to look at your time, or you can just count nice and slowly, but make sure you're pretty dang close to an actual 15 seconds to be most safe. So the good thing here is these fluids are going to push the drug in for you so you don't have to worry about you know how fast am I pushing my thumb how strong am I pushing it you can be sure that you haven't administered it too quickly once you've given the full dose over that two minutes you can disconnect your syringe and you can dispose of it um, in the appropriate receptacle usually a sharps container is appropriate now the pump once the secondary infusion is done, it should automatically switch back to your primary infusion, but always just double check that it actually switched. You also wanna make sure that you actually let the rest of that infusion push the medication in over the right amount of time. If you were to grab a 10 mil syringe of saline and just push the whole 10 mils after your drug, everything that's left in the line gets pushed in way faster than it should have. So that's why this method is safe. And again, this is just one way to make sure that you're safely giving these medications over the right time. But if you're ever unsure about how fast to push something, always check with your pharmacist. That's what they're there for. And of course, follow your six rights, document the administration, and monitor your patient for effects of the drug. We love you guys. Go out and be your best selves today. And as always, happy nursing. Thanks for watching another nursing.com lesson. Click the link below in the description to watch thousands more lessons over on nursing.com. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell to make sure you're reminded when new lessons come out. And if you wanna just keep watching more lessons, go ahead and click this video over here to continue learning. Like we always say here at nursing.com, happy nursing.